Hello, I am Skyhook and this is Kerbal Space Program and our mission today has already started. The mission today is to launch the Prometheus Solar Rover and, uh, and demonstrate its capabilities in, in the best way possible. Now to do that, today we're going to be going to Duna and what you're seeing right now is just our, our uh, injection burn or, or ejection burn uh, as we call it um, and we should be heading out there in a couple of seconds now. Uh, while we actually get there, I will tell you all about the publisher. The publisher is Yogui87. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, but but he is from France, or, or at least that's what it says on his profile. Uh, it doesn't necessarily matter because he he uh, produces a lot of good products, or I guess a lot of good mods for the game. And this is this is uh, I guess his latest iteration. This is probably one of his uh, earlier mods. Um, probably may, maybe the second mod that he released but uh, what I'm actually showing you all today is the current version which is 5.0.1 uh, now, now the current version includes um, a, a lot of a lot of advanced features including airbags that actually work uh, and, and an overall really streamlined design and the design actually includes um, it actually includes a one-part rover, uh, whereas in in previous versions of the rover, it actually it was you know it was ten or twelve parts. It was really difficult to, to actually fit together and everything. And I can tell you from experience uh, using the the earliest version um, of the rover that it's definitely improved. Now, one of the things that I like about this mod is that it's three parts. Um, it's actually the actual nacelle, the parachute, and it's just going to be uh the actual rover itself um and and that's it uh that's you know it's really good because it it keeps the part count low it keeps stability uh very high and uh, it's it's just something that's just really a pleasure to fly uh and as you see here what's going on the screen is i should be actually uh going retrograde for my for my final descent burn uh, for, for my deorbit burn. Yep, that's that should be what is happening and, and we're gonna see here in a minute the, the full capabilities of the actual uh, rover um, and If you all actually have it, uh, I, I guess caught on to it um, This is this is a, a rover um, It's it's unmanned uh, It's and it's it has a lot of capabilities to it uh, not as good as necessarily the uh, the bigger one that that he uh, he actually just put out not too long ago the DSL rover which is which is very much larger uh, not necessarily in its complete form because it uh, it needs a uh, sky crane and things like that to be to be considered uh, feature complete for that mod uh, but as we do our deorbit burn hmm, yep we're done with the deorbit burn actually and we're actually warping uh, down so that we can actually get to the surface. I chose a polar orbit simply because I don't see it very much and whenever I do an orbit on any planet it's always equatorial so I just wanted to switch it up there and one of the more, more beautiful things that we do see is Ike, Ike um, in the background uh, it's, it's kind of an Ike rise you could say um, and, and that's gonna be that's gonna offer some really nice uh, scenery as we come down now as we separate here uh, for our final descent I'm gonna tell you all a little bit about I guess my impressions um, my impressions overall are is that uh, are that uh, it's, it's just a very well done mod um, you know everything works as expected uh, nothing no no surprise as to what you're gonna get it's only three parts and they, and they work they work very well together um, now, as far as the landing the cell itself, uh, it's also also very well done. The the parachute, as you can see, it should be coming out at about 8,000 meters, um, and that's the uh, actual drogue part of the chute comes out at, at about 8,800 meters or so. Uh, let's let's check it. Yep, around 8,900 meters, and then around 8,400 meters is when the actual parachute deploys. Uh, we're going to be going for about 500 meters. Whoa! going to be going from about 500 meters per second uh to about 70 or so and and as you can see the uh the actual uh injection stage for duna what just flew right past us and that's that's really gonna
be a good a good indicator of how fast we were going and how much we slowed down how, how much you slow down in, in any planetary entry uh, so we're coming down here and uh, things are going well and we see the Ike rise in the background very nice scenery uh, I was really excited when I was filming it actually um, so things should be coming down things should be slowing down and we're gonna get a chance to see the actual airbags and the airbag one of the things about the airbags is that they actually do work as you all are gonna be able to see here in a second I released the parachute a little bit too high I was a little bit too anxious to do it and so uh, we, we dropped from quite high above the surface but we're gonna get a chance to see the airbags at work now boom very nice bounce um and think about the actual uh setup that i didn't necessarily like was that there's no there's no asas uh and su as such um you can't really hold you can't really hold an orientation or anything like that so if you do actually use this i would recommend using it in asas just so that you can uh, get down safely, get down a little bit more in style than I did. And as we slide to a stop, we're gonna slide to a stop soon. We're gonna get a chance to see the actual rover itself. Uh, airbags work uh, great. Uh, just, just can't say enough about that. And they deflate. I don't think you can actually inflate them again, but it's kind of a one-use thing with this rover. And there will be a lot of barriers to actually getting back in the orbit. Uh, principle of which would be an actual engine and everything and let's see we should be able to see everything unravel you're gonna actually see me kind of struggle to get off of the pad and that's because I didn't follow the directions so you can see a yellow uh, exit arrow and that's that's just kind of my fault um, with me either me attaching it and me just kind of not following directions that's what you can see the rover is one part um, Fully animated solar panels and uh, instruments. We have an antenna there, high gain and low gain antenna, as well as the camera mast. Um, and as you can see, we drive around a little bit. Um, and we should be coming to the end of the video here. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, everything like that. Uh, if you like the videos, and I would love to see everybody's uh, suggestions as to what mods to do next. Um, so without further ado, this was uh, Skyhook, and this was Carbo Space Crowman, and I will see everybody uh, later.